What's up guys, it's Jeremy. Yes, the Moto G third generation already has CyanogenMod Mod 12.1 on it. This device has barely been out long enough for reviewers to finish up on their general reviews of the device and we already have software developers working on this thing already. So along the way of installing CyanogenMod Mod 12.1 I did kind of document my um, trials and tribulations. So I'm going to release a how-to video on how to install it just like I did for the Zenfone 2 um, because when I released the video for the Zenfone 2 like everyone was like please tell me how to do this please tell me how to do that and when I tried to make the video on how to do it, it was a little bit difficult because I already had the stuff done. So I had to kind of like pretend I was, you know, unlocking the bootloader, pretending I was doing this, pretending I was doing that. So even though it took a lot longer, I just kind of recorded my phone the whole time, recorded my screen the whole time and stuff like that. Um, it's going to take me a little bit to kind of, you know, piece all of that stuff together in a cohesive tutorial. So stay tuned for that for sure if you're interested on installing CyanEngine Mod on your Moto G as well. But other than that, um, it's running really nicely, of course. Less people would want to have CyanEngine Mod than um, on the on the Moto G than the Zen Phone, just because the Moto G is already stock. But it is a nice UI and it is easier to do developer type things. Well, that's it, guys. I will see you when I see you in the next video. Bye.